The Department of Justice has finally decided not to force New York Times reporter James Risen to reveal his source for confidential information. Without this decision from the Justice Department, Risen would have faced possible jail time for contempt of court had he refused to comply. NBC first broke the story, citing an anonymous department official who said Attorney General Eric Holder directed officials not to force Risen to name sources. Though the journalist may still face some more limited questions from the department about the circumstances of the leak. Risen has been at odds with the Obama administration since 2008, when he was subpoenaed in the trial of former CIA official Jeffrey Sterling. Sterling is accused of leaking classified information about a failed attempt to sabotage Iran's nuclear program. That information appeared in Risen's 2006 book, State of War, and the government hoped the journalist's testimony could convict Sterling. But Risen vocally fought the subpoena, sparking a long legal battle that almost wound up before the Supreme Court. The case stalled in June after the Supreme Court declined to take action, leaving the Justice Department the option of trying to jail Risen for not revealing his sources. On Wednesday, a federal judge ordered the administration to reach a decision about whether to take action against Risen by next week. Attorney General Eric Holder has signaled his reluctance to prosecute Risen in the past. Any reporter um, who is doing his or her job gathering news is not going to go to jail as a result of that kind of activity. It's easy to see why the government doesn't want to pursue the matter. Risen's case has drawn stern criticism from free speech advocates who fear the government is trying to silence investigative reporters and chill the free press. Risen himself recently blasted President Obama as the greatest enemy to press freedom in a generation during an interview with the New York Times. He's been relentlessly critical of the administration throughout the case. And that's what I think is dangerous to a democracy when you have investigative reporting that the government is trying to limit through the use of the Justice Department and the legal system. The Obama administration already has several black marks on the subject of press freedom. They've been blasted on two occasions for searching the phone records and emails of journalists. It's not clear what the Justice Department's next step is, but some reports indicate they might try to strike a deal with Risen for testimony in Sterling's trial. That case goes to court January 12th. For Newsy, I'm Connor Hickox.